What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have the Thronebreaker Bullseye boss. Now this guy is actually really really tricky to fight, but I'm going to show you the best counters for him, like basically cheese him. So this first one here is Kitty Pride. Like as you might know, this guy can't miss, and if Kitty, you know, if you're phasing and the opponent can't miss, you know, your phase is always, always going to be paused. Now his special one does not give you any power, but everything else will. So basically what you do is just, you know, get three prowess and then you can either like try to get hit or not. Like that is the best way to get rid of his, uh, his evade right here. The killer instinct, it just doesn't matter. Like you get hit, you take no damage, you just get power. So you just spam special threes. And the cool thing about this guy is that he's got guaranteed crits, which means as you can see, the special one just fuels up my prowess by getting hit by this. And also if you run out of prowess, the only thing you have to do is parry once because his uh, his block hit is going to be critical which means it's going to give you a uh, prowess but then it's going to be guaranteed critical hit which means another two prowess so you got your three prowess right there so with kitty there's just no way you die like you just do that and then just parry him once you do that again so kitty is by far the best counter for sure so we're gonna throw a special here our non crits don't do a lot because there is a node but uh, yeah it's just so 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 easy now let's actually talk about this node so storm is probably one of the best counters as well same with bishop so this guy you know if you use daredevil both daredevils or mutants your special one uh is gonna be guaranteed critical hits now there's a cool interaction with storm like this guy he inflicts instant bleeds with his you know special one all hits of the special ones you can see it fuels up our prowess he also does that with his mediums and his first light and now we're gonna throw a special one and because of the guaranteed critical hits, it just hits so hard. And then also, if you want to get rid of his killer instinct with Storm or Bishop, you parry and then you hit him. Now he instantly is going to try to shrug off that stun, but because Storm and Bishop have this, that same effect, when they shrug off a, a debuff, you basically apply it as a passive. Or not a debuff, if they shrug off the stun, they get it back as a passive. So that's how you just counter his evades. It's so, so easy. Um, but also, yeah, the defender takes 30% more damage from critical hits and 90% less from all sources that are not critical. And then also, each well time block during a special grants the attacker true damage passive for 10 seconds and increases attack rating by 20%. So that's that's not like really too crazy. The only note here you need to worry about here is limber. Is limber like 20%? So this guy, you're not gonna get too many openings. And actually, his heavy attack, it's really actually tough to go in. Like honestly, I haven't fought on find like. The, the perfect time to go in so yeah it is kind of tricky honestly when you don't have parries to use like as you can see here i'm, I'm about to get like destroyed <laughs> uh but special one plans that are cold snaps because first bites because everything is just critical but uh yeah man this guy he is really tough but there's some counters that can absolutely cheese him especially that bishop and that iceman sorry that bishop storm and kitty pride i think kitty pride is just the safest bet because you don't even need anything else now let's say you don't have a counter to his killer instinct what you want to do is basically get him to the sp1 bait it and then he's gonna start his timer is gonna start running out so when this runs out he's not gonna evade that is the way you just gotta empty his power when he's got below a special one the timer is actually not paused and it starts to uh cool down so also you can have true strike as you can see odin with the sp1 which don't care about his evade it always says evade failed so there, there are definitely counters to this bullseye i would say also absorbing man is kind of nice uh because he's bleed immune if you take damage you know he's got the uru form just doesn't take too much damage special two i really cannot get those last two hits to like uh to evade i can get the last one but those before that i can't really so here i'm gonna mess up my special two but again man like this guy he is tricky. If you find him, fight him once without bringing the right champions, I guarantee you you're gonna get wrecked. But if you if you can, you know, add your Kitty Pride into the team, or add that Storm, like basically what I did in my stream earlier, I popped my special one with my seven star Storm. I killed him with only one special one. So what you want to do if you want to do that is basically block one special one or take it to the face. It's going to apply a lot of instant blades, which is going to fuel your prowess, pop a special one, and because it's going to be guaranteed critical hits, the opponent should die. But if you don't have that, Kitty Pride, like I said, it's basically a free free fight. You just, you know, let the phone down, 
let the opponent hit you, pop the special 3, and just pyre you maybe once if you need to, if you don't get an aggressive AI. And that's basically it. So yeah, man, that is how you cheese Bullseye. And if you don't have those cheese options, again, you can just use True Strike, or you can, like I said, bait the special 1 when he gets it, wait for the Killer Instinct to go away, and then you just do that again. But uh, keep in mind, Limber is really tough in this fight, because also he's heavy, he's really tough to go in. But hopefully this video helped you guys, and if you if it did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.